Hello love, today we're gonna look at the deep dark web of the animal kingdom. But before we do that, we'll take a quick look at the deep dark webbing of the humans. Just for comparison, let's take a look at the ancient Egyptians. They are very well known to have depicted their gods with human bodies and animal heads. What a bunch of perverts. Ew. As for the ancient Greece, they would also depict a lot of half-human, half-animal creatures. However, the top half will be human and it's a lot more acceptable for some reason. But even still, perverts. Even today, there is a frightening amount of people who are into half-dog, half-dogs. Ew. Perverts. Now, the truly frightening part is when you go to the other side. Because there are animals who like half-human, half-humans. Ew. Perverts. The first degenerate animal we're gonna look at today is ostriches. Yes, ostriches are attracted to humans. They will commonly perform mating dances for humans and prefer to try and impress humans rather than other ostriches. Elephants. We'll get to the elephants later. Ugh, animals are just very weird. But look, if life gets you down and you feel like you just wanna leave everything and escape to Africa, escape to Australia instead, buy yourself an ostrich. I mean, it's not gonna say no. And also, yeah. Yes, this does explain Bill, the old ostrich farmer that keeps saying things like Oh, they're like my family! Oh, they're like my children! Ew, talk about a pervert. So, if you are a man down on your luck, you love long legs and long necks, come to Australia and be like Bill. Hashtag not sponsored by the Australian government. Now, I would talk about elephants next, but unfortunately, Australia's propaganda budget isn't that high, so I'm gonna have to talk about the elephants next week. Until then, 